I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. This is Priest Kevin Gondoha with the I S U P K. On the command of Johnny Yahana in California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. We want no cowards in our camp. Bring that to him. Get that to him. Give me what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people. Deuteronomy, he's talking to the children of Israel. Children of Israel are the lost, are the 12 tribes right here pointed on this sign. The book is telling us about the 12 tribes. He said, thou art in holy people. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Holy just means separate. He's saying the children of Israel are a separate people unto God. He separated this group of people from another group, of, from everybody else. He segregated them. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. God chose Israel, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, what we, what we call ourselves, but, we, but what the Most High calls us is Israelites. That's right. He chose us to be a special people according to him. Unto himself, above. Hold up, I thought we were all equal. Above. The Constitution said we hold these presents uh, that all men are created equal. But when the, but the time that was written, there was a certain people on reservations and in chains. How can we all be created equal when, when, when there's two groups of people that are totally two different uh, classes. One is in chains doing exactly what, what Master tells them to do, and the other can't come off the reservation. But the Most High said something. A special people unto himself, above all people. Above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. There is no context, no, no, uh, no description that, that you can justify that. The Most High said, Israelites are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. There is no room for, there is no wiggle room in that. He's saying, he's, he's saying it plain and simple. Above all people that are upon the face, let's read that again. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Read it from the top. Verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God chose the Israelites, the blacks, the Spanish, and Native Americans to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now if he chose us to be a special people above all people, why are we in this condition right now? Why are we at the bottom and not the top? Why are Hispanic kids right now in cages, drinking out of toilets? Why are the, the Native Americans put on reservations in their own land? That's craziness. That's like you owning a, a, a big old house, a big mansion. Someone comes in and kicks your door in and tell you you gotta live in one room in the basement. And you better not come out. If you come out, you get in the business. What kind of nonsense is that? Or how, how about this, you own, a, you own that, that land, that house, and then someone kicks in the door and tells you you can't live here anymore. This land is stolen, and it has been stolen since, since Jump Street. 
since, since Esau, what we call the white, the oppressor, came over here, since the oppressor came over here, it has been nothing but death, destruction, rape, and robbery. There is nothing that the oppressor has taken without force. He never asked for anything. He just took it. The Native Americans were kind enough to, to teach the oppressor to survive. And if they would have just kept withheld that little information, maybe one or two winters, we wouldn't have this problem right now. But the most high seen fit to it. And the reason why we're at the bottom is because we do not hearken unto his voice. The Most High gave us a book, a whole book, full of rules and regulations to follow. If we followed every rule and regulation here, the Most High said we would be on top and not the bottom. However, there is a flip side to that coin. There's always two sides to a coin. He said if you do not obey, you're going to be in the situation that we are now. We're going to be in a situation where we have to march in and beg somebody Hands up, don't shoot. We have to beg somebody to, for, for rights and equality. We have to beg for this. I, I heard a podcast where his dude was introducing himself. He was saying that his, his father was, was older and from the South, and he, he described him as, as a man that was born without his rights. And that's, this was pre-64, since, since before the uh, Civil Rights Act. Get that, let that sink in a little bit a people that was born without rights. In a land where you were supposed to have rights according to, to, the, to the Constitution of the United States. But what most people don't understand what that Constitution means, that Constitution is strictly for the white man. It is not for, for the Native Americans. It is not for the so-called Hispanics. It is not for the, for the black man in America. We are nothing in their eyes. However, the Most High said we are everything. And the only way we can get back on top is if we do exactly what he says, when he says, how he says it. And what he says is easy. All we gotta do is put down the cigarettes, stop throwing our sisters away. Stop going to the damn Christian church and Muslim mosque. That's what we do, that's a start. Stop being shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster. It's disgusting. And it kills us. We are the number one, and in, in, um, right here in Baltimore, we're number one in kidney failure. Why? Why? That's because Baltimore right now is, is a, it's a crab capital of, of, of America. There's a lot of Negroes out there. We, we love some crab, but the Most High said, don't eat it. Because we eating it, the Most High gave, made us the, the number one in kidney failure. Why is that? Why is that? I don't understand that. Give me Romans 9 and 13. I'm going to get you some more of who the Most High actually loves. Because the Most High is very explicit in, what, in his orders, in his desires. His desire is for us to be on top and not the bottom. His desire is, is for, for, for him to get some get back over what has happened to us for centuries. This is what it says. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written. As it is written. That means it. he's reading something. He's about to say something that he read somewhere else. So even though he's saying it right now, it is said before. What you got to say? Jacob have I love. Jacob have I love. If anybody knows the scripture, and if you don't, Jacob is the forefather, the progenitor of blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. He wrestled an angel all night. His reward for wrestling the angel was he demanded the angel give him a blessing. The angel gave him a blessing and called him the son of the son of God. Sons of God, sons of the power. Yasha Allah in the Hebrew. He is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, Jacob have I love, which is Israel. If you find yourself on this sign, he's talking about you. The Most High God is talking about you. He said, Jacob, which is Israel, have I love. But Esau. But Esau, if anybody knows about Jacob and Esau, they were twins. They were fighting in the womb. The scripture said there were two nations warring with each other in the womb. Jacob, have I love. Esau, who is Esau? The scripture calls 
the white man, Esau. That's what God calls the, calls the oppressor. He is Esau. He said, Jacob, Israel have I loved. However, Esau, that bastard, have I hated. Have I hated. He said, as it is written, it is written beforehand in times past. Written in the, in the book of life for our learning, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. If you're a Christian and you go to church, bring that up to your pastor. Ask him why it says, why, why is it saying God hates somebody? Why is he saying that he loves one person, which is the black, the progenitor of the blacks, the Spanish, and Native Americans, and he hates another? If, if, you, if you can't understand why he hates them, why he loves us and why he hates them, just turn on the news. Just just look at just just look at how many uh, how many of us are wrongly jailed, are wrongly convicted. For what? For what? The the cat brought out earlier, there was a there was a black man who loved the police, who loved the, the oppressor. He made several posts on his Facebook page praising the, the oppressor, how he has never had a bad interaction with the police. However, that one time when he was breaking up a fight, and this doesn't this sound familiar, he was breaking up a fight. The police were called. When he got there, they asked him for some for some stuff. Even though he was breaking up the fight, he was stopping the altercation. And once he re reached out to shake the man's hand, to shake the devil's hand, the devil put five bullets in his chest, killing him. But yet he's never had a had a bad interaction with police. He's praising them. If he would have known that he was a devil, he would have never put his hand out to, uh, to 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 shake his hand. And you know who 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 failed us? The Christian churches. Right. The Christian churches told us that God loves everybody. And if God loves everybody. This police officer, who's the officer of the law, who's supposed to uphold the law, should have my back. If I'm reaching out to shake his hand, he shouldn't be a, he should pull his gun and put five bullets in my chest. That was wrong. That was wrong. And the reason why it was wrong is because we learned from an oppressor who wants to keep us in captivity. Keep our minds in captivity. But the scripture is releasing us, they say the truth it will set you free. It will set you free from the shackles and the chains of Christianity. Christianity will keep you down in a lowly state, shaking your hand with the person who wants to murder you. That's what Christianity will do. If you know that God loves the people and hates another, shouldn't you hate, shouldn't you love that people that he loves and hate that people that he hates? Shouldn't you? It would just make sense to me. Read that one more time. Verse 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Give me Amos chapter three, chapter three and one. Amos three and one. We're gonna get some more on this. We're gonna get some more on how the Most High loves one people and hates another. But I thought God loves everybody. We just read two scriptures where he said he, he preferred one people ab above all people upon the face of the earth. What happened there? Ask your pastor what's up with that. And then we just read another one where he said he loves one but yet hates another. Christianity is a hell of a drug. Right. He, tells you, he tells you one thing but shows you another. Christianity tells you you need to love your oppressor. You need to forgive him. All the all the while he's telling he's telling your woman you you need to leave that 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 dirty nigga. Right. He ain't nothing. He ain't squat. You need to leave him. You need to find a better man. You know what? I'm that better man. Come on back in my chambers and let me get you right. That's Christianity right there. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope 
Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit That's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire Trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.